What's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. So check it out. I'm doing some stuff with this stuff over here. Um, so I'm going to put some links in the description for what I'm playing with here, but basically it's one of these pump motors. And I have uh, 3D printed me a bracket and a holder and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, lots of stuff going on here. So basically I've just got the motor. I've got mine hooked up to say a DC power supply and this big giant mess of stuff I did today. Um, so, let's get started with the videos and I'll just kind of go through what I did. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's the setup. It's a bit messy, eh? Alright, doing a little test. I've got my setup here. Got my motor connected to a power supply here. Alright, and what I'm going to do is show an open condition, a shorted condition, and a uh, 60 watt light bulb condition. Uh, it's hard to read. It is a 60 watt. There you go. Alright, so turn this on. Turn it all the way up. There's an open condition. Okay, so I placed a uh, piece of tape on here. We're going to get a measurement reading. Sixty, sixty. All right, shorted condition. Pulling about point four five amps. Fifty-seven, eighteen. Now with a uh, sixty-watt light bulb. One point oh nine amps. Forty six twenty six RPM. Okay, now what I'm going to do is use these transformers as my pole pig devices. So I've got two identical step up transformers from one twenty to four eighty. All right, one twenty to four eighty. So what I'm going to do is step up the voltage step up the voltage again to a very high voltage these are 120 volt inputs I'm going to be putting 480 into those out to uh, several thousand volts whatever these are rated for pretty high voltage and then I'm going to step it back down back down and run the light bulb and we're going to see if the uh, the power is different the load is different or uh, or what's happening and then we'll play with the uh, little spark gap that I've developed this is a little adjustable spark gap that I made this morning. A piece of Durlin, some tungsten electrodes, and we'll just see. Uh, we'll pretend like these are my pole pig transformers and see if we can step it up and step it down and actually uh, achieve what we're trying to do here. It's the best solution I can come up with with what I have laying around. I don't have any pole pigs that big. And you have to excuse the saw in the background. I'm not the only guy here. All right, so here we are with one transformer with no load connected. 0.35 of an amp. You can hear it change. Let's check the RPM. Five eight eight eight. All right. So now let's connect this transformer to the output side. I'm going to run through these fuses by the way. No reason not to if they're mounted on top. Alright, I'm going to disconnect the high side of that transformer. Let's see what we got now. Alright, 
right now we're pulling about 0.58 of an amp. Sounds slower. About 54.82. See what kind of spark we got over here. Let's connect it to the spark gap and see what the distance we can get out of that. We'll measure the RPM while we're running. Okay. Alright, so here it is in a dead short condition. 0.4 of an amp. Fifty-eight oh six. Now you can hear this when I open it. It lowers more of a load. There's about a quarter inch spark. Point six three of an amp. About fifty-four oh four. Let's see how far we can open this up. Alright. Pretty good gap. About 0.68. Fifty-three forty-eight. Okay, now what we're going to do is connect this transformer. We are going to connect it through the spark gap. Alright, knock it off. Turn it on and see what we got. I hear it trying to spark. Check it out, the high voltage has made my gun turn on, it didn't touch it. Alright, so a dead short condition, we're at 0.54, about 55.15, we'll open it up a little, the meter came back on over there by itself. Okay, we got small sparks in there. About 0 0.61. There we are. Oh, now it's that quick. 54, 18. Okay. Now we're going to connect. See it all. We're going to connect this transformer to the high side. Alright, we're going to go ahead and close the spark gap. See what we got. 0.55. Fifty-five forty-two. Okay, open it up. See where the spark is going. Nice little steady spark going. Point six two.
5432. Yep, that's right. 5432. Alright, and the final bits. Let's hook the light bulb up to our output. See if we can light it. is closed, 0.53, let's do a voltage check. AC, zero volts DC. Let's test at each one of these points. All right, let's check each one of these points. That's the primary of the big transformer. That's the secondary. Secondary of the Second transformer, step down. And that's the light bulb. Less voltage with a spark gap. Okey So I can feel that the light bulb is warm. But it will not light. Here's a 7.5 watt. Dimly lit. Here's a 
90 watt. Ninety watt lightning the load. Uh, dead short. And that's a dead short condition. Point four three. Let's check the RPM. Fifty-eight, nineteen, close to our starting dead short condition. All right, now we've introduced the spark gap and the light bulb spark gap. There's a dead short. That's opening it up. All right, so just as a test, I went ahead and uh, loaded this directly to a transformer, back to this transformer, back to the bulb, and uh, things were not looking so good. The interesting thing is, is no matter how many devices I've put on here so far, when it's a dead short, it works the best, um, as in less load on this motor. Um, now, when it's open, it's even less, but when it's got a bulb or something, it's, it seems like it's more. So, all right. It's all in the background. You like it, don't you? And there it is again. All right, so you can see in this clip that I am actually, um, I stuck a neodymium magnet in here to just see what kind of uh, reaction we got. And uh, it actually is so powerful that the little motor won't turn it. The poles are so attracted to the uh, iron that it will not go. So that did not work out, but the test was done. You can get it to go mm, if you flick so it, good. but it's pulling a lot more current Can't even turn. and uh, is not a good option. All right, well, there you go. Um, that's all I know for now. We're going to keep testing this. I'm actually going to be calling this gentleman and asking him some questions and uh, see, if we can, uh, see if we can get a little bit more out of this. Uh, so far, my conclusions are not looking the best but then again uh, I did see some interesting things that I was that I want to test some more on so that's it Russ with rwgresearch.com quantumgravityresearch.org um, there will be a, another video or two in this series I'm sure so stay tuned for more and uh, we'll talk to the inventor himself I will anyway and we'll see if we can uh, see if we can bring some more light to this subject but that's all I got Peace and love.